Howdy y'all, this is Rainbow Raven, and welcome back to Adam's Adventure. So last time we had um, the families kind of split into two directions so that I could have more coverage of gathering roots and um, realized with the death of Valkyrie that we had our older generation beginning to um, get on in years and about to start dying off, so we need to have just a few more babies before they pass. And also came to the decision that while I want to move on and get to the next island as soon as possible, it may be in our best interest to stay on this island for a bit longer so that we can try to unlock the um, big body in their genetics and then that way we can have it to take with us because remembering how the previous ports looked I think we're going to a harder mountain a harder cold climate so we really need the big body and heat body unlocked in our genetics and in order to do that we have to be on this island for 50 days minimum so in that, on that note we're going to be staying for a little bit longer just to unlock the big body and start mutating that into our genetics and also to try to get up to at least the 300 food while we have such an abundance while we're here. So collecting a lot of roots, collecting a lot of um, these toxic berry bushes and making sure that we are surviving well. So that also means killing this berina that decided it wanted to come in here. Um, another thing I went ahead and did, because some of these older guys are about to start dying off, I went ahead and paired off everyone to who their mate is going to be. To the point that I had, took me a minute and I noticed, so I had seven creatures come and one has passed away. So we have six creatures from the original island, so six new babies. And... I only had two males come, and out of all of those babies, only one was a male. So, to make sure that I have coverage for just a little bit, until I learn who these new babies are, some of the younger adults are mated to, or are marked as potential mates for some of my older generations, just to make sure that I do have enough babies to continue surviving and thriving. And also, I don't know for sure, I didn't check, Pathesis is one of my few with a home island immunity gene. So Hephaestus and Valkyrie were my only ones with home island immunity and Valkyrie did not pass it on to her baby. Shiver. So, I need to make sure that Hephaestus has as many babies as possible. Which means everyone who is a potential mate for him is having a baby from him. Because I'm not losing that. So, without further ado, let's go on ahead and jump in here and get started on destroying this Berina because this is no good. Uh, I'm gonna check who has our good strength. The big body and the hammer tail. So she is fantastic for going on ahead and trying to take some damage off this. He only has five days left. You have no attack. You have a two. You have a two. You have a one but you could poison it if we need to run away. You have none. You have a little bit. Two. One. Because of your body. One. Two. But you need to have a baby right now. You have a four. So Shiver has my highest attack stat. And she's way over here. Valkyrie was right up there with her, but she passed. So let's see. Um, can you make it? Yeah. So come over here. Smack it twice. So he only has one day's worth of 
that. You go on ahead and mate with him. You have a few days left, so come on over here and set down that nest. And then you have two, so there we go. Very nice. Alright. Woo! Getting getting a little bit closer to that uh that 300 I'm hoping for. Um, you need to mate with him immediately. Oh. Who's got lower fertility? And I'm going ahead and collect from some of these. You can't collect from any of these. So let's see. Who was my other creature that was about to pass away? It was Freya. So I need to get them right beside each other, so I need you to just go on and take off that direction. Come to right here, and she can go on ahead and meet with him, and she needs to put down that nest right away, so, oh boy, I'm gonna have to scare it off, unfortunately. All of these bunnies. <laughs> Kate. Okay, Kate, come over here. Real quick. Mate with him. Please. Okay, cool. And then you're gonna have to come in here and keep that baby warm, I guess. For just a little bit. Sugar, go ahead and grab that for me. Hi! Dodomingo has 14 days left, and, um, it, it's a baby, okay. I'm gonna leave you alone. I don't really need to deal with you. Okay. Yes, these guys can come over and help with keeping them warm. So, let's see, uh... Shiver's not warmed up. You're warmed up. You're warmed up. Oh, over here. Now Shiver's warmed up, but she's not. Ah. Okay. Can you come up here? Oops. Okay. Alrighty. Had a few failed attempts at pregnancy, but that should be fine. My two that are passing away. I'm gonna miss- I'm gonna miss Freya so much. Alright. Zoom out and skip the day. Three births, two deaths. Okay. So, yeah, Freya and Anna passed away. So let's start here with your little baby. Alright, healthy little baby boy. Finally. Um, big ears, unfortunately, but we did get the purse out of their genetics, which is very good to see. Um, double nimble fingers, which I was hoping for. He does have a little bit of cold resistance, thankfully. Stripes to help him out. Let's look at his... Yeah. So he'll only have one cold resistance, so I need to pick that up more by get ready, getting rid of those big ears, but thankfully we have a cat. And actually, we're gonna name him... From Siberia. After the Siberian tiger, because he looks like a little tiger. He's so cute. I love the purse snouts. I love how effective they are. They're just... They work. They help us so much. Okay. And then... Let's see what we have over here. We have this little baby boy. I don't know why I was scared about all of our babies. We have a good amount now. 
He would have had big ears, but thankfully because of, um, I noticed this not that long ago, the bat head makes whatever ears you would have inactive. So that's good for him because he would have had a big ears active. Um, he did get his mama's digging paw, and he's got the cold resistance from that tail. Nice. So he'll be a very good, um, effective little baby. I don't know what to name him. Erebus. Welcome to the tribe, little one. And then we have one last little baby, and it's another little baby boy. All three babies this time were boys. What? Lord Takir. Finally, we're getting the medium ears in there, or some ears other than the big ears. So he's doing good. Um, are we just... I think we're mutating that back in. Somehow we're just getting a lot of the medium tail, which is very good for us. Alright. The sticky tongue, I was not expecting, but very glad to see. Oh yeah. Alright. Um... I'm gonna name him Arthur. Welcome to the tribe, little one. Alright. Let's see. Okay, so we need to have someone hop over and protect that baby. That's probably going to be. Um, chatter to keep an eye on things. I did not check. So let's see. Um, Siberia, Erebus, Arthur. None of them got home island immunity from parents, so. Demeter, I think you're having another baby until I get that. Let's have Kate settle down right there. Um, I think you guys are volunteering to have babies now because I just, I need that whole island immunity. We're gonna be friends that Berghina because I don't want it to become an issue later. Uh, I named all the babies. So let's see. Um, neither of you can collect from those, unfortunately. I wish I'd been able to get her back up there, but. She's gonna sit there. Um, let's take a look. There's more roots off that direction. So I need you to head on over there. Let's go around the nests. up that piece. And then I need yeah, Demeter for three days left to come back. Mate with him. She can wait a little bit to have another baby. But either way I need her over there to keep an eye on those babies. 
Um, and then you two are kind of stuck babysitting. And then I need Zippy is going to come to over here. Let her fastest make her. Now I'm going to have Zippy come over here and collect some of those for me. And then Medusa to come over to here. We can try to have her pregnant. There we go. And then I think I'm going to have to leave him there so no one gets damaged. Kate is not even in the protective little bubble. And we still have to protect the baby when it's born. Okay. Um, neither of you can have a defense against poison. I guess come on over here and... Try to shred it. No? Okay. <laughs> it's like I tried. Okay. That should be all good. And they're all good, so let's go on ahead. Um, they need to stay there to protect and have babies. So let's go on ahead and skip the day. There's only one baby born. One death, which was her, and then the rain, and another Baragina, which makes no sense, but okay, why is it over here by the babies? I never know. Shatter. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to smack it as much as possible. Um, Erebus scoot this way so that Zippy can get into this nest because she can't defend anything. She can't attack anything. Just not strong enough. Um, Demeter will have Arthur scoot out of the way. Demeter can't hit anything either. She can gather those for me. And then we'll have Smack that for me. It's only got two days left, so let's see. Um, Elra, let's see. Medusa, go on ahead. Scoot over beside the baby. Set on um, nest beside it. Can Shiver get there in enough turns? Or do I need to pull Hermes over there? I think I need to pull Hermes. Alright buddy. There we go. We'll leave that meat there for now, I think. Yeah, we'll have to. Because I don't have too many other options. Go ahead and pick up that nest for me. And then Hephaestus. We have two days left. Um, Y'all go on ahead and pick up that nest. Shiver can jump to up here. Jump, jump, to the baby follow. And then grab that. Come over here to keep that one safe. And then come over here. And I think that's. Hermes that has the leech, but he's about to pass away, so I won't worry too, too much. And then I have an even higher, <laughs> adorable little baby girl. She did not get the home island of Inuiti. Why aren't you able to pass that? Oh, he only had two kids. That's why. Okay. 
I'm gonna name her Kate, goddess of the hearth. Welcome to the tribe, little one. Alright, that's all I can do for this one. I'm gonna have like three babies born this time. Let's hope we can get some more with home island immunity on them because this is it's a lot. Alright, I have to skip a turn. Okay, and then, so that was he died, that was the leech that he had, because I don't have anyone else near the, the, um, uh, potions. So let's go on ahead and name these last couple of babies. There we go, finally. One of them has home island immunity. Ooh, she is cute. I might have to start adding in more browns. That actually looks really good. Swimming tail, uh, sticky tongue, medium body, which is good to see. The ears is good to see. She will have a little bit of cold resistance. So she won't be as stuck. Um, oh, I know. Welcome to the tribe of the one. She is so cute. I'm starting to like these uh, browns and stuff. I might have to try to bring those back into our tribe if we can. And then here's another little sticky tongue baby. And let's see. We didn't get the hormone immunity gene on her, unfortunately. But she does have a little bit more cold tolerance because of that tail. That tail is going to help us a lot. Um, I'm going to name her Crest. Those uh, ripples in her pattern look like the crests on waves. Okay, and then our final baby. Her now. Ooh, she has gorgeous mask. Gorgeous mask. Also, no home island immunity. But we did get rid of that um, deformed paw. We didn't get rid of the hind legs, but that's fine. Okay. Shh, that mask, oh my goodness. I don't know what to name her either. Festus and Medusa. Alright, how about this? Gorgon. Welcome to the tribe, little one. I love the mask patterns that we get on them sometimes. Okay. Alright, so that, unfortunately, is all the time I have for today. Um, we're making progress, or we were. Um, at 2.50, we're... how long? We've been on this island 14 days, so we have a good chunk left to be able to get the... Uh, the big body. But we finally had at least one baby born with the... Um, home island immunity out of five. Out of five babies. Where is she? <laughs> out of five babies, only one has the home island immunity gene. So I'm gonna have to have him have as many more as I can before things are all said and done because I would need at least more than that. But, yeah, we'll have to end things out here. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on how things are progressing and how things are going. And please leave uh, naming suggestions down in the comment section. I really love 
being able to get y'all some of y'all's names onto these creatures. It's really fun to be able to play with them. Uh, and subscribe to join me on continuing this adventure and to join me on all of the other adventures that we hope to go on in the future. And I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.